when so many people seem to be rooting for American Pharaoh? Well, first of all, congratulations to uh, Justin Zayat uh, on graduating from NYU. Uh, in Iowa, where I'm from, we think one family celebration a season is enough. Uh, so, uh, you know, to be serious about it, uh, all of us who are running against American Pharaoh <coughs> on Saturday owe it to history, owe it to prior Triple Crown runners, and owe it to American Pharaoh to be here to ensure that if he wins the race on Saturday, he will have earned it uh, honestly and against great competition. I agree with Ahmed. I think this has been one of the great three-year-old crops. And if American Pharaoh can get a mile and a half on Saturday, all of our hats will be off to him. But it's our job to do what we can to make the race honest before him. Well, thanks so much for that. Now, uh, your post position that you drew, are you fine with that? You mean my favorite number, seven? I didn't know it was. Had I, had I known that, I wouldn't have asked the question. Um, uh, he had a trouble trip, Key Nice, in the Derby. Um, did that have anything to do with your with you, your thinking in coming here to the Belmont, and hopefully he'll be able to duplicate that performance with a clean trip? You know, the surprise with Key Nice was we thought that once we got to a mile and a quarter, he'd be fine. Uh, he'd have room. Um, I think of American Pharaoh as a wide receiver. I think of Key Nice as a fullback. He's a horse that once he gets his momentum going, can really come, but he got stopped twice in the Derby at the three eighths pole and the quarter pole. Um, I think with a smaller field size, he won't get stopped in this race. As long as there's a little pace, I was really glad to hear Todd say what he said about uh, trying to ensure an honest pace. Uh, he'll be one of the ones coming at the end. Uh, he's not your only horse to Donning Ellis running on, on Saturday's card. You have a horse who's one of the favorites in the, the Knob Creek Manhattan, and that's Finnegan's Wake, who has won, I think, four of his last five races and won the big race in the turf on Derby Day. Are you excited about him? And he's really improved dramatically at A6. He's been amazing, winning four of his last five, as you said. Um, I'm trying to get Terry Finley to agree to not run on Saturday. That would be uh, very helpful. And I talked to Victor Espinosa, and I said, you know, Victor, uh, riding for us on Finnegan's Wake, one victory in two big races Saturday should be enough for anyone, right? Well, I hope that works out, and that certainly seems like a lot. Jerry, best of luck, and thanks. Great to see you. All right, thanks, Andy.